Have you ever noticed that your plastics are always wet when you take them out of the dishwasher? That's because dishwashers have trouble drying less dense items like plastics. Until now. Now you have all sorts of drying cycles designed to dry plastics, at least in theory. We stress tested five popular dishwashers by loading them with baked on pots and pans, fine china, caked on sports bottles, glasses with chocolate syrup, but especially Tupperware stained with red sauce because we wanted to see which dishwashers could actually dry. Each model has its own unique drying system, all claiming to be the best. So which dishwasher actually has the best drying system? Stay to the end to find out. First, let's take a few minutes to go over how each of their drying systems work. The GE Profile PDT775 SYNFS has their new ultra fresh system, which is now introducing air into the dishwasher with smart sensors activating a fan to refresh the interior and dry your dishes. The Beko DDT 39434X uses condensation drying. This is the heat from the wash plus jet dry and time. Their self dry also includes the door popping open at the end of the wash to release the excess steam and heat like the higher end Bosch and Miele dishwashers. The LG LDPH7972 is the only dishwasher on this list to utilize steam. It circulates the hot air and steam for a faster, more complete dry than the normal condensation drying. The Bosch 800 series has their crystal dry drying system, which uses zeolite volcanic crystals to increase heat and absorb moisture. As gimmicky as that sounds, it supposedly actually works, even on less dense items like plastics. The Mulig G7366 SCVI has their clean dry drying system with a simple yet effective system allowing air into the dishwasher so that the hot air mixes with the colder air and is dissipated as water. The dishwasher also pops open 30 minutes after the end of the cycle to eliminate the hotter air and moisture from the dishwasher like Beko. Now, let's see which of these drying systems actually works. The Bosch dishwasher's test results were by far the best with their crystal dry drying system. It only left a bit of residual moisture on the rims of the plastic Tupperware. Mila was second to Bosch's crystal dry. It dried dishes well, but left a bit more of that residual moisture than the Bosch on the plastics. LG, Beko, and GE Profile all did about the same in terms of drying. They dried all of the silverware, pots, pans, and dishes thoroughly, except for the less dense items like the Tupperware on the middle rack. In the end, the Bosch with Crystal Dry was the best as it was able to almost entirely dry even plastics, followed by Mila, then LG, Beko, and GE Profile all tied for third place. Overall, all of these dishwashers did what they were supposed to do, which is clean and dry your dishes. The real difference is drying your plastics. One last consideration. They do vary in price. Mila is the most expensive at $22.49. Bosch and Beko are tied at about $13.49 with LG and GE Profile under $1,000. With that in mind, do you save the money in dryer plastics like you're used to doing? Or do you spend a little more and have a better drying system? Before you answer that question, click this video if you wanna see how each of these dishwashers wash, or click this video if you wanna see the best dishwasher models for this year. Thanks for watching.